Hey there, if I were to run into you on the street and I were to ask you, is your business growing? How would you answer that? Would be the first things that came to your mind, you know, revenue and sales, market share, maybe you're hiring more employees, maybe, you know, you started with five employees and now you're at 15 or 15 and, you know, whatever the number is. In this video, I'm going to give you a different perspective because that is what I call transactional, right? It's not relationships. And I think businesses today need to be making a shift to help deal with supply chain, to help deal with lack of innovation, um, to help deal with um, employee retention and attraction. So stay tuned for that. Uh, it's going to be fun. Thanks. Are you a sales driven organization or are you a customer service driven organization? You know, it's interesting. I have this conversation a lot with other business owners and um, it's an interesting question. And I think what, what's, what makes it interesting is they say that they're a customer service organization, right? And we, and we, we see this all the time, right? We live in a world where we can pretty much say anything we want on a website. We can say anything we want in print and media, on social, and as all these other things. But, but what really happens is, are we customer service driven or are we sales driven, right? Are we transactional versus relationship is kind of what I uh, like to call it. So I wanna, I wanna talk to you about something that I've been trying to wrap my head around with and I thought I would share it with you because it might uh, give you a little bit of value in your organization as you sit in and try to understand what's going on out there right now, right? Because there are a lot of market pressures going on with supply chain, with trying to find the right people, hiring enough people, um, and et cetera. So I wanna talk about two words. I wanna talk about the difference between growth and progress. And so I think what I want to do is, I, I kind of wrote them down here, is get the Merriam uh, definitions, right? So, um, Merriam, I got to find it here, hold on. Uh, Webster describes growth as an increase in something, right? Uh, the trees are growing, our kids are growing. Um, out here right now in Idaho, right, we've got forest fires that are growing. But, Progress is the onward movement or the gradual betterment toward an objective or a goal. And that's what, kind of what I want to talk about, right? Sales driven versus customer service driven, right? So stay with me here for a little bit as I, as I try to give us some context. Um, you could say that um, the goal or the objective is sales right? You could say that it's market share. You could say that, um, you know, it's margins, right? You're holding your margins um, tight. The thing for me is, is that enough? And one of the things that's going on right now is, you know, a lot of organizations are having a hard time um, retaining uh, employees or attracting employees. And the thing for me is, is your culture um, really transactional or relationship, right? Not just with the customers, but within your organization. And the thing for me is, what is it that we're progressing to do, right? Because if we're just looking at from, from, a, from a sales and a revenue, right? And, and if I were to go and you were to go and ask someone, listen, you know, how's your business doing? And you were to say, you know, it's growing. The connotation around that growth is what? It really is revenue and it's sales, right? Let's just be honest with you. And the thing for me is what I'm trying to ask is, is that enough? Is that enough for our customers? Is that enough for our employees? And quite frankly, is that enough for our communities, right? And I think that over the past, you know, few decades, we've really decided that we're going to be, you know, a sales driven uh, economy. And for us, I think that we really need to sit down and reshape. And it's one of the things that I've been really cognizant about is we're just not 
a sales driven organization. We are a customer service organization. We have two customers in our organization. Number one, and first and foremost, the most important customers that we have are our internal ones, right? Our employees. Um, the challenge I have for you is, and the question I have for you is, how are you serving your employees? If your employees are just showing up to get a paycheck and get benefits and get paid time off, um, is that enough? Is it really encapsulating the service, right, that you're trying to provide your customers? Because that, that has a ripple effect. If you take really good care of your employees, who are your employees gonna take good care of? What's the ripple effect? Well, one, they're gonna take good care of your customers. Number two, uh, if you teach them and you lead them, they're gonna be able to go home and be incredible parents. They can be great uh, spouses. Uh, they're gonna be good in their community and all other things. So that's one of the things that, that we do here with our vision statement, right? And I think it's important to understand that our objective, right, for our organization is not sales. It's bigger than sales. And our vision is technology is what we do, it's not who we are. Those guys out there through that door um, are really smart, but it's not so much what we do, right? Because they're, they're gonna be able to, to take care of our customers. It's not so much what we do, it's who we get to be when we're doing that, right? So the thing for me is there's the technical side and then there's the non-technical side. There's the transactional side and then there's the relationship side. The thing for us is the relationship is paramount, right? That's why we have our vision statement. The interesting thing about our vision statement is it's, it's just not words on a wall. We go over that vision statement every week in our operations meeting. It's part of our DNA, right? It isn't the fact that we're gonna fix the problem, right? It's how we fix the problem. Are we being kind? Are we being compassionate? Are we being respectful, right? Those are the things that are important to us. And the thing for us is during our operations meetings, those are the things that we talk about. We talk about how can we be better people. Excuse me, if I can help one of my guys be a better person, what's the ripple effect throughout the organization, throughout their life? And how is it that their life is going to impact someone else's that's going to impact someone else's that's going to impact someone else's. You see what I'm getting at? Those are the fun things that, that come into our organization. Is revenue important? Yeah, it's important and we understand margins. We balance our, our uh, budgets every month. We reconcile our check register every month. We know exactly what's going on, but that's a byproduct, right? It really becomes a byproduct of of these other things that we're doing. Um, one of the things that comes to mind is there's this really book, good book by um, uh, Horst Schultz, who is the co-founder of the Ritz-Carlton, and this book, Excellence Wins. Um, we've read this together as a team. There's, there's a really interesting quote in here I wanted to share with you on page 175. You can't read that, but I'll read it to you. Leadership implies that somebody has a destination in view and is taking people along to that destination. I think that's really important, right? Now, what's interesting is on the opposite page, this, this picture here, uh, you really can't see it, but maybe we'll take a shot of it and get it up there, is innovation is often squelched in the name of tradition, right? How many of our organizations are running on status quo? Well, we're gonna do it because the industry says that's what we're gonna do, right? These industry standards. The thing about it is, are those industry standards in your employee's best interest? Are they in your customer's best interest? Or are they, are they in the shareholders uh, or the stakeholders best interest? And the thing that I wrote down here, here is really tradition, AKA I see it as industry standard. You know, one of the things that we have in the IT space is IT guys are notorious, notorious for being you know, pompous, arrogant, short, curt, right? All of these negative things, right? Um, that's not what we do, right? That's not who we are. Technology is what we do, it's not who we are. We're trying to take the IT industry and we're trying to make it better, right? We are setting the standard. 
Um, I was in a meeting uh, last week with a, with a, not a customer, but a, a potential uh, partner in development. And, you know, he said to me, well, how do you measure, you know, those relationships, the non-transaction ones? Because, you know, you have subjective, right, which are uh, opinion and bias and coming from experience. And then you have the um, uh, objective, uh, which are, you know, the facts. How do you measure the relationships? And I said, I simply listen to the incredible conversations that all of my guys are having out there on the floor. Right? Those are the things that I'm listening to. It's not the Google reviews. It's not sending a gift card asking for, you know, um, uh, a testimonial um, on, you know, whatever platform that is. It's simply listening, right? It's simply setting the tone and, and the destination and the objective that isn't about sales, right? Our sales meetings, right, if you talk to Ben, who's really kind of been our first sales guy, we don't talk about revenue. He has no revenue goal. What we talk about is how are we bringing value, right, to our customers? How are we helping them progress, right? The other uh, book that I love right here is called Demand Size Sales by Bob Moesta. And the subheading right here is stop selling and help your customers progress. The thing for me is not only your customers, but how are you helping your employees progress? So that's, that's kind of the thing that I want to talk about. I think the mission statement is important, right? How many of your employees know what your mission statement is? Right? Do you have a mission statement? We have a very clear defined mission statement too. We keep your computers and internet running fast and secure. That's why you hire us, right? And if you talk uh, about um, Michael Christensen or um, Clayton Christensen's book, um, competing with, uh, got it right here actually, competing against luck. Um, you know, he'll talk about the story of innovation and, and customer service and the big hire, right? But then there are all these other little hires right? Every phone call, every email, every interaction that your customers have with you, every interaction that your employees have with you. Um, what are you doing to help them progress? Growth is important, right? But are we growing um, or I should say, are we progressing? And I challenge you to sit down and say, listen, uh, write this stuff down, right? Answer these questions. How am I helping myself progress. I always say this, you are the leader of one. How you serve yourself is how you serve others. Um, how you serve others helps you become invaluable. And um, taking care of yourself has a dramatic ripple effect. Um, so how are you progressing, right, as, a, as an owner? As a, maybe it's a business manager, maybe it's just, you know, employee. You are still a leader, you are the leader of one. Um, so how are you progressing, right? How are you progressing as, you know, a dad? How are you progressing, you know, as a mom or parent? Um, how are you progressing as a manager, right? How are you progressing as a friend, right? It's this destination. What is the destination? Your business just can't be about sales, can it? I don't know, that's for you, for you to answer. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of share uh, that transactions versus relationships. Um, is your business really customer service thinking or is it um, sales driven? Is it transactional driven? Um, anyway, that's what I got. My name is Chris Adams, president of Smat Attack, and um, I appreciate you and I hope this was of uh, value to you. Sit down, write those questions, check out these three books. They're incredible. Um, if you have any questions, you know, shoot me a note. Um, my door and my email is always open. Thanks. Have a great day. Thank you.